Hi everyone, Tarot Twins here. Welcome back to my channel. I am joined by Black Feather Tarot. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. This is going to be for any sign watching and it's a pretty out there reading, let's just say. We're going to be looking at some secrets, some things that are behind the scenes, things that this person is keeping from you, your mm -hmm. lover, your ex, what's going on on their side of things, what's happening behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. So what is your you know, special person keeping to themselves? What are they hiding from you? Mm -hmm. What do they want to tell you, but maybe they're scared to tell you? Maybe they're a little bit uncomfortable to tell you? What is it that you need to know, but you may not necessarily know already? Exactly. And there's no limits to this reading. We're going to go all out. So nothing is going to be censored. Whatever comes up, we're going to mm -hmm. say. Um, any messages that come through... We're going to be relaying them to you. So let's give the cards a shuffle. That's right, guys. Okay, so what is it that your special person is keeping from you? So straight away, you have the Ace of Cups. Uh, just a reminder, guys, um, if you are after Tarot Twins private reading, we've only got a couple spaces left. Um, we are currently accepting them. So please feel free to email with a subject line, Tarot Twins, and we can send you the details. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, interesting cards coming up. Oh, <laughs> these messages are just pouring yeah, out. Yeah, they are. They're just sort of just flying out. You've got the Five of Swords, which is interesting mm. there, guys. You've got the past that lingers here potentially with the Six of Cups and mm -hmm. then the Five of Swords. I feel like your special person is trying to stay strong about something. Mm. I feel like they're trying to keep their strength together here. I think there's a weakness. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting a vibe that there may be a weakness about this person's past or even a past lover. They may have seen this person. Yeah. They may have met up with them. Okay, there's keeping options open. Okay. Yeah, look, I'm getting a strong vibe that there's potentially someone here in the picture. Okay, we don't really have the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords. I don't think there's there's they've gone that far, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they're dabbling in some thoughts or in some ideas. They're considering something. There's consideration here. They're, they're thinking about it. And it could be about an ex or a past person. So there may be someone here who hasn't told you about their past. It could be something from childhood, even, from their past. Um, or there's a, sort of like an X in the picture. Yeah, look, I still, I, yeah, I want to add on to that. I do feel like it may be like a third party situation. Notice how with the Four of Cups, you know, the foreground, the focus is the Three of Cups. Um, I also feel like with the Five of Swords, there's something here that they're not telling you, but I feel like your special person is in conflict. So they're sort of just been sort of tormenting themselves whether or not they should open themselves up and be honest to you about a certain situation. I do feel like your special person may still have feelings for someone in the past or someone he may just happen to have their heart still, okay? The Six of Cups is the biggest indicator that I feel like maybe they haven't entirely moved on from the past. Mm. Um, or it may not, for some of you, it could be that, you know, there's an ex that they haven't moved on from and okay, can they still have lingering feelings emotions there or maybe it's not so much the ex maybe it's so much it maybe it's more the relationship or you know the past feelings or the hurt or the resentment or just the history they had together maybe they have not moved on from that yet there's something there do you think this could be a past life connection even that they're feeling drawn towards could be it could absolutely with the six of cups it could indicate like a past life connection it could indicate that you know your person feels as though that particular person that energy was perhaps a soulmate or a twin flame connection they felt some type of way the the world card indicates to me that i feel like they haven't fully moved on from them or there hasn't been closure here the ace of cups tells me look that they still have feelings for someone here yeah. and like i said it may not necessarily you know be about that person in general it could be just about that relationship or so you know the, the person that they were or all the growth and you know everything that happened to them during that relationship but i do feel like your person here is sort of you know yes they do think about a future with you and building a future with you and developing plans but i also feel like your person is still kind of looking back because they're not 
I don't think mm. they've moved on entirely, to be honest with you. I agree. And I want to say that for, for some, this person with the world card and holding the world in their hands, I get the I get the sense that they may be like connecting online with another person. Mm -hmm. Whether this is the ex or maybe they've jumped on dating apps or you might even come across them being on dating apps or something or having a social media page. So I think, you know, if you're sort of suspicious about these things and you want to know, you know, you want to be open and honest about these things, I reckon just ask them. Just say, hey, you know, I, I thought I saw you on Tinder or, you know, mm -hmm. I, I thought you said you didn't have social media. You know, you confront them if you have to. That's going to strengthen the connection. But it's going to show them that, you know, you have those standards and, yes. you know, this is what you want and this is what you don't want. So it's going to show your strength of character, your strength as a spiritual being. And yep. it's going to really solidify that connection. So, um you know, do some research. Some of you might even want to jump on. They could have a fake account. Okay, there might be some of this happening. Speaking of a fake account, I feel like for some of you, this isn't for all of you, but for a handful watching, I feel like there's children involved. So mm. some of you do not know that this person that you've might have recently connected with mm. or are in actually, you know, a serious relationship with, they have children, okay? They have fathered children here or there is children, um, could be theirs or could be, you know, children that they've been raising here. I do feel like the element of children here comes into play here. They could be someone's baby daddy. We just don't know, okay? So there, there is that possibility. There's a hint of that coming through, guys. And there's, oh, there's a female. There's a female There could be a female who hasn't well, you know, might be dating her. You don't know energy. yet. She hasn't told you. She has children from a different marriage or a different connection. Why isn't she telling you? Because I feel like with the Five of Swords, again, there's this um, torment because I feel like if he or she opens up and tells you about children, they feel like maybe, you know, it may you may look at them differently. It may, you yeah. know, you may have a different perspective on, of them mm. or you feel like, okay, you're not ready for that kind of, you know, responsibility. So they're scared that you might shy away from, you know, them because they do have children. The Five of Swords tells me that they're, they are being a little bit dishonest about something, okay? There's a conflict or there's a friction. It could be that there's a conflict or a friction with them internally emotionally it could be from pre um, previous past relationships here but um the five of swords i feel like your person here is they're holding on to something and i feel like they're, they're burdened with some sort of information but they don't know how to share this with you okay mm -hmm. again it's just this energy of okay should i tell him or her should i say something should i let them find out should i leave it to later you know, is there a better time? They're sort of going back and forth in their head about something. Yeah, look, I agree. And and what what's come to me just then, that might not even be a romantic connection. If there are three people involved, three people in the cards, it could be even like a friend. They might have history with someone they say they haven't had history with, or mm -hmm. they did something with a friend. You know, maybe they got into trouble. Maybe they, you know, committed something together. Maybe they... Um, got into some deep trouble or they were involved in some sort of, you know, some heavy things and they don't want to disclose that yet. So maybe it's not romantic, you know, maybe the intention isn't there to cheat or go on dating apps. Maybe it's just that they've encountered something with this other person and they're not ready to expose that. Um, I also want to say for some of you, um, what I'm picking up with the strength card and the Aries, the sun, so we've got Leo and Aries, fire, strong fire energy, um, this person could even be secretly jealous of you and a connection or a friendship that you have with another person. So there could be jealousy. And maybe mm. this fake account or this online dating is maybe to actually keep tabs on you. It the could be their really. way out of jealousy, whatever their motivation is. And maybe you, you're the one that has the past. Um, but it, right. it, they maybe. think about it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're coming up with the past. Um, for some of you with the four of cups card here, I feel like, and this is again, not for all of you, but for some, I feel like you can actually sense that your person here is pulling away. Okay. Mm. Your person is pulling away. Why? Because I feel like there's either a feeling of guilt or shame attached to their energy. So if your person is going a little bit distant, okay, if they're a little bit, you know, emotionally distant or physically distant here, or if you can just sense the energy pulling away, you know, if they're less responsive, if they talk less or they reach out less, you know, you can feel that in their energy. It's because there is something going on with your person with regards to their feelings. They could be at a stage where they're not sure if their feelings for you are just as strong as they were on day one, okay? Because it's, it's a sense of they could be losing interest or they could be pulling away. Some of you may need to inject some, you know, um, romance back into your relationship 
or some of you may need to address um, this confront address, it absolutely address it. because don't let it get worse no don't fix a problem with the problem and don't ignore it if you can feel that they're you know pulling away if you can relate to this i feel like it's best that you tackle the issue then because unfortunately for some of you if you don't do anything and if you try and you know gloss over this i feel like they'll pull away so far away that you won't be able to reach them then so mm -hmm. it's very important timing yeah absolutely it's very important that you don't ignore what you feel and you don't ignore you know how they're acting and that they're less responsive or just you know being um, a lot more cold or distant um tackle the issue right away before it's too late Okay, guys, and on that note, that is your reading. So we do hope that these messages here have been helpful to those watching. Thank you again for watching and for listening. Thank you for all of your support here. Absolutely. If you are interested in a personal tarot reading with, you know, the tarot twins, um, please feel free to reach out with the subject line tarot twins in the header. Otherwise, thank you guys again. We will be in touch with more tarot love messages later in the week. Absolutely. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to Black Feather. Check out her page. If you'd like a private reading with her, the link and email is below. Otherwise, we'll catch you very soon. Bye for now. Take care.